This is John V, Software Evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching a Jscape MFT Server Tutorial. In today's video, we'll show you how to monitor a remote SFTP server for newly added files. For those who aren't familiar with it yet, the Directory Monitor module is one of the most widely used automation-enabling features of Jscape MFT Server. Usually combined with triggers, directory monitors often act as initiators of automated processes. They monitor a directory for certain events like a newly added file, a file deletion, a file change, and so on. Which then sets off a trigger that in turn carries out an automated task. For example, transfer a file to a remote server, move a file to a folder for archiving, send out an email notification, and so on. For more information about directory monitors, you may read the online documentation by clicking the link provided below or watch the video using directory monitors. One particular use case is to monitor a directory on a remote SFTP server for newly added files. Once a file arrives at the monitor directory, MFT server could then automatically download that file for local processing. Let me now show you how to implement that. The first step is to make sure you have an existing SFTP trading partner. To monitor a directory on a remote SFTP server, that server should be associated with an MFT server trading partner object. Here's what we see here. As we already have several online resources about trading partners, we invite you to review those if you don't know what a trading partner is yet. We have provided some links in the description to get you started. Once you have your trading partner ready, the next step would be to create a directory monitor to monitor your SFTP trading partner. So let's now go to the directory monitors module and click the add button to add a new directory monitor. Give the directory monitor a name and select the trading partner in step one from the use trading partner dropdown list. Take note of that name as we'll be using that later. In the directory field, you may specify the specific relative path of the directory you want to monitor. So for example, you may enter something like slash folder one slash subfolder one, if that's the folder you want to monitor. In the example you see, I just entered forward slash because I simply want to monitor the root folder of the user account associated with my trading partner. As usual, you may also configure other settings like the monitor interval, latency period, and so on. Lastly, because I want to monitor this remote directory for newly added files, I make sure the monitor file add setting is checked. Click OK to proceed. You should then see your newly created directory monitor on the screen. Since we're done with that, the next step is to create the trigger that would download files from your SFTP trading partner. Go to the triggers module and then click the add button. Let's now give the trigger a name and then select the directory monitor file added event type from the drop down list. This will tell the trigger to listen to any file additions to any monitor directory. Because we want this trigger to respond only to those directory monitor file added events that originate from the Dermon for tp one sftp directory monitor, which is the directory monitor that monitors a remote SFTP server, we specify that in the trigger condition box, like so. You may replace this with the name of your directory monitor. Click next to proceed. It's now time to add the trigger action that would download the files from the SFTP server. So let's click the add button and then select the trading partner file download trigger action. And then click OK. After that, you'll need to set the trigger action parameters. First, select the trading partner from the partner drop down list. Next, enter the file variable into the remote file field. This variable contains the complete path of the file that was added into the directory of the remote SFTP server we are monitoring. 
Lastly, we specify the local file into which this downloaded file will be stored. Because we just want to retain the file's original file name, we specify the local file value like so. Of course, you would have to replace this part with your own local directory. That's it! Now you know how to configure MFD server to monitor a remote SFTP server for newly 